Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all keeping well. Well as you can hear, I've got the scanner hanging off the tripod underneath the vlogging camera and you can hear some jet noise. Myself and Harry have come down to RAF Lakeneath today in Suffolk for a good old boys trip out, it's half term and what better way to spend a day in half term than a bit of plane spotting and a bit of aviation photography. Yeah we've come down to RAF Lakeneath where the Americans are based and ever since Harry's seen Top Gun 2 we wanted to see some Americans in action so I brought him down to Lake and Heath where the F-15s and the F-35s are based. As you can see we've just got a couple of F-15s about to take off now. Here we go. I'll quickly grab these. I'm videoing on the 5D Mark IV as well. I'll video these and I'll get back to you. spot for takeoffs we're stood in a in a field and we're really here getting set up ready for some landing shots but uh, we've had we've had quite a lot of action already um, absolutely fantastic light clear blue skies sun's beaming down on us it's not I've got the woolly hat on but it's not actually that cold it's quite pleasant really so that's another two just launched we've probably got two or three left to come in they've been out about an hour and uh, we did start further over the airfield shooting through a gap in the fence through the fence posts on the 5d4 as you can see i've got the times two get extender on i'm doing a bit of cheating today just to make this a 400 lens but i've had to whack the aperture up to about f9 just to make sure i keep things nice and sharp with the extender on now news flash i am getting a 400 hopefully next week but more of that to follow and why i'm getting a 400 but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to hopefully meet up with good mate Steve next week, who's been looking after a 400 for me for some time. So I'll be with you next week, Steve. But uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to getting that. <laughs> no more cheating with an extender then. But uh, yeah, so jobs are good. And that's another two launched, as I said. I've been doing a bit of video on the 5D Mark IV through the gap in the fence, like I said a minute ago. I'll pop some of that up now. Oh, we did have the, um, just before I pop it up, we did have the special Mark Jet special marked f-15 taxi out got some nice footage of it he started taxiing towards the runway and then turned around and went back at first i thought they were going to change runways but he must have gone tech and he's, he's obviously taxied back to the hangar but a bit of a shame that we're not going to see him flying might see him later perhaps but anyway yeah i'll put some of that footage up now and we'll catch up when they're landing Well, we've been waiting about an hour, we've had a bit of lunch and some coffee and we've just got some F-35s taxiing out, but photography and video from this far back, it's, it's pretty hopeless really. I've just shot a bit on the, the 5D Mark IV, but uh, they're so far away and it's through the fence. 
but you might be able to get a bit of sound anyway if nothing else it's just a bit of a bit of a pain because I want to be in this field for the landing shots so there's two still two f-15s out and the Sun's lovely for landing shots today I just can't be in both places at once I'll have to film film these f-35s right next to the fence and they're still a fair way off after that so. but uh, nice to have a bit of action anyway so we've actually had enough time to hot foot it across the field and over the road and stand next to the fence and I'm actually as you can see I'm shooting through the fence and it's actually working okay even though I'm on F9 it's not picking much of the fence up so I've got the 5D Mark IV mounted on the tripod and I'm just shooting through that for now so should get some better footage from over here although it's a bit noisier near the road So we were wondering why the F-35s were sat holding and it's because Guinness 1-1, the two remaining F-15s are just on approach now for landing. No good through the fence. So we just hot footed it a couple of hundred yards to where the, towards the threshold to try and get underneath the F-15s a bit. Nice angle that. You get some good video. I think so, I think we about there. Yeah, it's the only thing when we're shooting into the fence. So we finally had a couple of F-35s take off. It's not great quality shooting through the fence, but it's making okay footage. I'm not taking any stills, I'm gonna save that for when they're landing. But, uh, that's six taken off, we've got another six waiting to go up. Looks like they're just starting to taxi now. Right, well that's the launch done. That was good, that wasn't it? Yeah. You can really feel it in your chest, that afterburner. So now we've done that through the fence, not great footage, sorry guys, but I made the best of a bad job. If I had the 400, I'd be shooting at 2.8 and it would almost totally eliminate the fence. But uh, anyway, we'll make the best of a bad job until I get my 400 next week. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Right, we're gonna hot foot it back into the field now, have a coffee and wait for them to come back in. Job's a good one.
you can hear, we've got the first two F-35s back inbound. See if I can get a nice shot. Right, I think it's time to get rid of the times two converter now. I don't really need it. Can move a bit closer if I need to. And I've just looked at the images and they're a little bit soft, even at F7.1, so i get rid of it and have a go on the standard 70 to 200. There's no excuse today with this light, they should be pin sharp. Right, two F-35s just on the brake, looks like they're going to land this time, they've been doing a few overshoots. Set in them at thousandths of the second, I'm at ISO 320, F7.1. 7.1 just to give me a bit of depth so I can get the whole aircraft nice and sharp. Right, well we got all the gear packed up and we're going to hot foot it round to the other end of the runway to hopefully catch the last four F35s that are out but they've beaten us to it. I'll put the footage up now, but they came in in a formation of four, made a lovely break, managed to catch it on video just, and uh, yeah, got them landing on the video. No, no stills, but uh, you've already seen some stills of the F-35s landing on the 70 to 200. So uh, yeah, it's been an absolutely stonking day. The sun is still shining. It's almost too hot for a coat now. So yeah, been a thoroughly good day, hasn't it, mate? Yeah. So. From Lake and Heath, what is it mate? Jobs, Jobs are good. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Catch you up soon.